hello friends in this video we will learn how to install the Drupal 9 so let's start the video so in um, browser search download the Drupal 9 latest version so you will find the first uh, link now current version of Drupal is 9.26 click here on drupal.org slash download download the zip and uh, extract uh, for this video I have already downloaded that zip and uh, extracted that zip now uh, change the uh, rename the folder uh, what you want like uh, for this demo uh, I am going to rename that to dev php okay so for uh, to run uh, to run the php we require any uh, server on their local like uh, I have already installed the XAMPP you can check my other video how to install the XAMPP on windows then start the two services like apache to run php and mysql and now in browser go to the your local host peer, php my admin first create the database for your uh, website Here is my PHP my admin. Uh, I am going to create the one database for my dev PHP website. Uh, set the default uh, collisions for uh, this installation. It is a UTF-8 MB4 general CA. Now again, come to your browser and now open the website so it is now starting the process how to install the Drupal 9 in XAMPP just follow these steps So here is our uh, Drupal for installation first page. So on first page, uh, we need to uh, choose the language in which language you want to install. So there are multiple options of language available. So I am setting uh, installing the Drupal for the English language. Select the instruction profile as a standard. On next page, uh, uh, it will show the required configuration of your PHP. So uh, those are uh, uh, requirements are mandatory. You have to do those things, and there are some non-mandatory. You can skip those things. So. I am going to continue anyway. Now enter the database name what we have created the database for. So I am entering the dev php is the database name. Username, my username is by default username is a user root, <coughs> password is empty. So there are some advanced uh, options like host name port number so default mysql port number is double three zero six now save and continue. so now uh, installation is about to complete uh, and drupal has already installed the uh, all required models so 
so the next step is the configure site uh, in that uh, uh, we need to mention uh, some details website detail like uh, uh, email id set the password for the admin users select the region so here now uh, uh, we have to write the put the name of the websites so our website name is the dev php uh, site email address <coughs> so i am putting here example at that example.com username so this is the admin uh, user required to manage the website so keep the note of this username and password default country India time zone so my time zone is uh, India Kolkata you can check here for the uh, updates automatic updates or receive the email notification So as here is our website is ready. <coughs> this is the home page, and uh, we are already log log in in our, as a admin user. So now I'm going to, go into log out and we'll show you the how the home page will looks like. Yeah. Now this is the home page. Uh, this is the name of the website what we have set and uh, this is the default home page with the welcome message and I will show you how to log in in a admin enter the admin username as an admin password is the password what we have set This is the admin side of the Drupal CMS. Uh, I will explain all those things uh, in the next coming videos. So uh, that's the end of this video. So if you have any queries or suggestion, you can uh, mention in the uh, comments. And uh, please support by uh, subscribing and like the video. Thank you.